welcome back to Kung Fu Maintenance and Happy New Year. For my number two video of 2015, I'll be showing you how to shut off the water for a fill valve that is very common to mobile homes. These are a push-pull fill valve. I'll be showing you a ton of videos over the next few weeks about that are more specific to mobile homes. Okay, today I thought I'd show you how to turn off the water on a push-pull valve. These are kind of common in mobile homes um, and other setups little bit different deal so you wait to flush your toilet the toilet starts overflowing you go into panic and uh, you need to turn off the water well these are a little bit different you can't just turn it it won't do anything what you have to do is pull it to close it and push it back down to turn it off but you want to make sure that you support the pipe underneath it so you're, re you're really going to need two hands and then you're going to pull it up you see it's not exactly that easy, it's not super easy, but that turns off the water. So flush the toilet, and of course it's not going to fill because the water is turned off. See, not filling. Now turn the water back on, all you do is push it back down, but again support the pipe so you can grab it here. And now our water is turned on, and we're ready to go. Anyway, that's how to turn off the push-pull valve, I'll show you again. Again, support it and pull it up. And it's that easy. Push it back down to turn it on. And we're good to go. Important to know because when you have a flood, it's no fun, no good. And you want to be able to turn that water off quick. Especially in mobile homes where you've got a wood subfloor, plywood subfloor, or even a particle board su subfloor. So. Anyway, that's how those work. Thanks for watching. Kung Fu Maintenance.